there was a manager there that's been fired because he unintentionally uh, set the price of gas to 69 cents. Yeah, and especially <laughs> as we see gas prices rising, uh, you could imagine he was definitely becoming a local hero in those moments, oh, but uh, uh, now he's an unemployed hero. So we know this per ABC News. John Shishina, forgive me, I know I mispronounced that, who served as the manager for a Shell gas station in Rancho Cordova, said he mistakenly placed the decimal in the wrong spot and that the price was supposed to be $6.99 a gallon, not 69 cents. And John said this is the incident. I put all three prices on there except the diesel. The last one kind of didn't go. So I just took responsibility for it and said, yeah, it's my fault. Now the pricing error reportedly cost the gas station $16,000 as hundreds of drivers capitalized on the mistake and filled their tanks. And really, it's it's no wonder that people were rushing to the station to fill it up because the average price for a gallon of gas in California is $6.43. And in Sacramento County, it's $6.41. And that's probably just the standard, not even premium. And that is incredibly scary. Uh, anyways, uh, a lot of people are working hard to try to help out the family. Uh, and so we know that the family started a GoFundMe campaign to help repay the lost revenue, even though he's been fired. According to the online fundraiser, the family's concerned they'll be sued by the station owners. And as of this afternoon, they've raised $6,500. That is so incredibly sad. It, it was definitely an error and and Yes, I'm sure it was something that was preventable, but you could definitely see that it wasn't something that he was necessarily wanting to happen in any form. And also he lost his job, I would think that that's enough. So I hope he does not get sued in any way, was. Yeah, and I would hope that he just pocketed the money because this idea that they're gonna sue him for the losses is kind of ridiculous to me. Like the guy didn't personally gain from this. Like <laughs> people came and got gas and you know it was a mess up and things happened. That money didn't go into his pocket. This idea that you would sue him for the losses is preposterous. So hopefully that brother's able to land back on his feet. This whole gas thing is is is, is crazy. And you know, just as a side note, um, all throughout this this price gouging that's been going on um, in the gas markets, you know, remember at first they were blaming it on Russia, which is hilarious because it's our best friends, the Saudis, that are doing it to us. Um, it's everybody's favorite Middle Eastern uh, monarchy, and 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 nobody's said anything about it. So I would I would love to see uh, Sleepy Joe come out and talk about his strategy. To get these Oleg homies to to give us a goddamn break, Jesus. Yeah, it definitely seems that um, these are companies trying to exploit us, taking advantage of the situation and the circumstances. And so, you know, seeing also that the GOP is not willing to help cap that uh, to control this price gouging that's going on, really just says that again, people aren't here to protect the interests of the American people. And it's really sad because we see people all over the world where their nation actually steps up to protect them. And yet here in the United States, it's nothing but shoulder shrugs. Like they act like they've done the greatest feat and distance when they give us these half ass gun reform laws. Like it's just, we're paying the most and they are doing the least and pocketing so damn much. I'm just tired of it. And also seeing these payments at the pump, because we're being exploited and yet our representatives aren't stepping up to protect us in any way, but trying to shift blame. I'm just, I'm tired. And you know what, what really annoys me is that uh, the response isn't, how do we get on an accord so that we don't need to use this crap anymore? Um, we're using energy sources that aren't dependent on the whims of some spoiled little Saudi prick. Um, I, I, I wish that was actually, the response, right? Both right and left. Instead of being like, oh, Joe Biden is responsible for gas prices. It's like, yo, what's Joe Biden doing to invest in an energy future that isn't so dependent on these oil oligarchies and monarchies abroad? Like, that would be nice to hear some plans to get us off that stuff. And honestly, part of me feels like a lot of this price gouging on their part is like, there's an understanding that this is kind of going to be the last hurrah. Uh, people are moving away from this source of energy, and if if you basically live on a petro economy, um, and you're looking at a future where this stuff is way, 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 way less valuable, right now they're probably looking at it as the time to cash in. 
Yeah, no, that, that's a good point. Uh, I just hope that people move in that direction uh, in terms of moving away from their uh, reliance on these fossil fuels and uh, move to more renewable energy sources. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.